friends, welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. You say it the same way every time. Yeah. Okay. Wash. Yes. <laughs> Do you not want me to? No, no. I was just saying. I was just commenting that oh. you say it the same way every time. No, now I feel creatively stifled. Well, there you go. Karma. Eye for an eye. <laughs> All right, friends. Well, <clears throat> we're here. We're not feeling too good. Mm-hmm. We're tired. Yeah, literally. I was posting on my Instagram story that I don't know why the fuck I'm so tired. I didn't do anything at VidCon. I don't know why you're so Except tired Except have either. fun. So Just I kidding. think it's like a sympathy pregnancy where I'm sympathy tired with you. I think it's because we got six hours of sleep over four days. So Maybe. Who knows? Probably. Dude, my mom goes, you slept till 10 this morning. Well, we went, we got home at like three. <laughs> Lower your voice. I slept until like 1145. So I know. I got up at 8 to, like, pee and stuff, and then uh, I saw that my checkout got moved to 1, and then I went back to sleep for four and a half hours. <laughs> so Three just, and a half. I can't do math. We just got back from VidCon. It was so fun. Mm-hmm. Tell the people your favorite part of the VidCon. I actually don't have a favorite part. I think I would just say that getting to meet all my friends, my online friends. IRL, yeah. That was in real cool. life. Most of them I have met already. A lot of them I haven't, so... I got to connect with them and then also getting to meet so many of you was really, really great. So it was very exciting. And I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I am, but the shell of a human. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing a part two of the X episode that we did last week. So we thought it would be really funny. And there are like 800 more in here than there were the week before. So nice. Do you have a favorite ick? I think the booger chair took it for me last time. Um, probably the one when men take selfies because I enjoy shitting on dudes when they do normal things. Mm-hmm. That makes me laugh. So, okay. So this first one we're gonna start off is from Reagan, and she said, "I got the ick and stopped talking to a guy." And wait, sorry, I got the ick from a guy and stopped talking to him after he told me that he would sometimes not brush his teeth when masks were mandated. Because he thought it was a funny little secret and nobody knew. That makes me want to die. That makes me so sick to my stomach. You're just hotboxing yourself with your disgusting breath. He's hotboxing himself, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're gassing yourself, like, bro, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> Man, you're so disgusting, dude. <laughs> thought it was a funny little secret i'm so curious the thought process behind that fucking <laughs> shit take like what if it's not a funny little secret what if he's wearing a bad mask and now it's everyone's problem that he has halitosis i feel i i think i'm thinking someone who would say that for sure doesn't wear masks so like yeah i just like don't believe you so now you're <laughs> like bro and you're also when you do disgusting things like that why do you feel the need to share you know, like, you sometimes you do things, and I'm like, I'm never going to tell anyone I ever did that. Sometimes because you should keep things to yourself. Yeah. Not all thoughts need to be expressed I agree, I verbally. Agree. Like, sometimes swallow it. Don't let anyone know. <laughs> That's like one of those things where you're like, the government couldn't get that out of me. <laughs> it's so fucking disgusting. And I that- find it hard to believe that there were no other. Please let me know if there were any other red flags <laughs> that's the only one yeah yeah please he's like a, know. He's unless like it was really, like within a week he's but. really good at everything well she said she stopped talking to him so they no really i know dating, but i'm yeah. just I, I know that but i'm just curious if he did anything else questionable before that or if he did that like three days in yeah she, he goes like what's your name and she tells she's like oh i'm reagan he goes oh i'm so and so i don't like to he's like what do you, well he's like what do you like to do for fun and she's like go on picnics and then he's like oh i like to not brush my teeth and smell my own breath <laughs> like knock myself out with my own breath something tells me like the way he says that makes me think that like he like likes the smell of it's it it's like kind of sinister yeah it's like a f- what do you call it a fetish it's ew it's almost like a fetish it has to be <laughs> when you can smell the plaque on your teeth huh yeah when he's just like ooh, like <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you men are so fucking gross dude good start <laughs> I'm glad you stopped talking to him. Yeah. As you should. Good on you. <laughs> as you fucking should. This next one comes from someone named... I'm really sorry if I mispronounced y'all's name. So this is from someone named Suhanna. Mm-hmm. And she said, I hate when a man turns red in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> you can say white. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Only white men do that shit. 
Jesus. And you know what? <laughs> Lord help us. That's so funny. It's like, why are you getting red? Grow up. That's one of those things where you get mad. You're like, stop being so red. <laughs> you know what we got a lot of responses to? Um, <clears throat> what? We got a lot of responses to your sneezing. <laughs> your sneezing thing that you hate. And they said what? Like, I saw a person, she said that her husband's also a Virgo. Yeah. And he fucking hates when people do that. <laughs> hey, she man. said he's a good Virgo man, though. She yeah. said he's one of the good ones. Well, that big three is probably good. Yeah. But hey, man. <laughs> What's wrong with us? She said that he said that he feels like, do you guys, like, want attention or something? That's exactly. I know. <laughs> I've literally said that. I'm like, we're looking at you. Like, what else do you want? <laughs> like, this is, did you get what you wanted? <laughs> Your 15 minutes. I, like, get so fucking pissed. Like, they did it on purpose. If a baby did it, would you feel like that, too? A baby, like, how old? Like, a baby. Like, a... like A, a baby, baby could be anything. Any organism. Okay, that's... so, like, a two-year-old. That's not really a baby, but would you get mad at a two-year-old? N- no, it wouldn't... It wouldn't make me mad. It's only, like, a, like adults. Like... Yeah. Okay. So, you wanted to know the age of the baby, but... No, no, no. I know. I, I'm saying, like, how old, because, like newborns don't really sneeze if oh, they do I see, it's I like see. slightly no, you're so literal <laughs> well because i think Paint like me a picture 15 that person is a baby to me yeah. but if they did it i would get mad mm, okay. so that's what i'm saying like like grown ish people sneezing like so like they have to be 18 or you think like 16 and up i'll be the judge of it <laughs> do I'll, it i'll know when i know do it around me and i'll let you know if, <laughs> i mean we want to fucking punch you in the face dude something okay. that's so funny i wonder if that's a virgo thing please let me know if you're also a virgo who hates sneezing i think so i would think it would because virgos don't really like things that are out of their control yeah but it has nothing to do with control i just think you're annoying <laughs> like it has zero to do with me wanting to make sure you're okay i just want you to shut the fuck up <laughs> like that's literally how it is in my head that's the visceral reaction we already talked about why it's unreasonable i already know you don't need to tell me it's irrational i know okay this next one's from maggie and she said that when he taps on my fish tank (laughs) (laughs) that's a good one (laughs) yeah fish scare me but like i would never go to someone's house and be like dude i literally (laughs) i'm not even joking yesterday i saw a tiktok like i'm i don't know if y'all are on it but like sometimes i'm on jersey shore tiktok like tbt so they'll post wait me too yeah yeah they'll post like clips and they're like Especially this. when they're cursing, like, with all the bleeps, it's so weird. Yeah. And Especially I, as Jersey Shore kids. Yeah. It's definitely weird. And, like, weird. they're still making shows. Like, they still have a show on MTV. Like, the the OG Jersey Shore cast minus Sammy. Yeah. But, um, and Ron. Oh, no. I no, think he is he's in, in it. In him, yeah, yeah, he's definitely in it. Um, but I remember. I have two thoughts of this after. I was, uh, telling Billy, I was like, can, do you remember the absolute fucking chokehold this group of people had on the world like yeah. they were running media like it was just absolutely bonkers i am just so fascinated by that time I think period it was weird too is that when i became their age because all of them were at least 21 yeah they were all like when i early turned 20s. 21 i was like i would never let like a 10 year old watch me act like how they act <laughs> do you know what i mean <laughs> well and it's like one of those things where they're someone who are like so authentically themselves yeah that you like can't get mad at them like you almost admire them for it because mm-hmm. they just don't give a fuck what yeah. anybody thinks and that's just like i i just like was like i was like reminiscing about it yeah but anyways i saw this like jersey shore clip um and they were like this show was unreasonably funny yeah. like the the their brutal honesty mm-hmm. the, the way they would describe shit and it was like Snooki and Wow were at like a rooftop bar or something in the daytime. They're like eating and drinking. That audio that's going viral right now is so funny. She's like, get up. Juice heads all over the boardwalk. Yeah. I get, yeah. <laughs> with people doing gay Gorillas ones. Yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. So like when they're that, I saw that clip. That was so funny. <laughs> no, but she was like, they were like, oh, they're just a bunch of like juice heads all over the place. Like mm-hmm. it's, they were like excited about it and yeah. they were like showing little clips of all these douchebag dudes mm-hmm. right and then <laughs> they uh one of them sits down sorry one of them sits down next to jenny 
one of the guys yeah if i were to pick a character you're like the most it's jenny it's jenny yeah i'm i'm J-Well. that was you at how old she was like 23 oh my god yeah. the way that that's so true the way that j acts in jersey shore that's how the fuck i was Wait, when i was younger let me give an example so when drew graduated from college you yep. she took us to she took us she i went to a dave and busters with her like the night of your graduation i want to say because we wanted to go out yeah, it was either the night. No, it was the night before. Oh, okay. Yeah, the night so before. So we went out, and so and we were broke, so we shared one vodka Red Bull yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I got someone else to buy. But this, like, it was kind of like a corny white guy. He had a broken arm. He's yeah. in the. He was in the like dance. It was like in, yeah. In dance mind room. you, okay. David Buster's in Hawaii. All my UH girlies will. It's know. like a club. It's not like regular. David On Buster's, Wednesday nights, yeah. they would do like an adult night, and yeah. it was twenty one and over, and they would do like a little club. Yeah, so, so it's not like we regular David. Buster's. Oh, this is my prime clubbing days. So anyway, so we're there. And then this guy, he's like dancing around Drew, and he's like, "Hey," and she's like, "Okay." <laughs> and then he went, "Do you want to dance?" And she went, "What?" <laughs> and he said, "Do you want to dance?" And she went, "Oh, no, thank you." <laughs> I didn't say no, thank you. <laughs> oh, sorry. I said, ahead. "I said, oh, no," <laughs> and I just turned around. And then he went, "Okay," and turned around. <laughs> Listen, I would do that now, to be honest. That's like literally what JW would do. Someone hit on me in Nashville when we were at the bar. He came um, up to me and hit on me, and he was like, do you think I could give you my number? And then I go, what? Because it was so loud in there. Mm-hmm. And he said it, and I go, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I still do shit like that. But anyways, yeah, I was Wow. That was me when I was in my early 20s. It was bad, bad, bad. Uh, the same way she was so confrontational, like, immediately, no, too. Like, and, and kind of mothers the group. Yeah, a little bit. yeah, exactly. Like, gets really mad when people are mean to Snooki. Like, yeah. literally, that was me. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyways, so she's, like, one of those dudes sits next to her. And she goes, take your glasses off, right? <laughs> and then he takes them off. And then she's, like... And then the music is, like, ding you know that music that's like it's like terrifying it's awkward oh, like eerie. you know what i mean yeah eerie <laughs> and then she was like some dudes at this place are like fish in a aquarium she goes you tap the glass and they come forward and then you're scared you know what i mean <laughs> so it's like stay over there don't come close to me <laughs> that's what her saying the men tap on the glass <laughs> that's what that reminds me of i love it that's funny billy would never do that because he's someone who's like that scares them when you tap on the glass you know hey shut up <laughs> <laughs> i'd much rather him be like steve or when he's educating the people who are yeah. looking it as hurts to, their brain <laughs> yeah he's like i don't do stuff like because that freaks them out when you do that <laughs> and as opposed to someone who's like hey look and they're like knocking on it like a front door all right, friends, we're going to take a quick break for a quick little ad moment. And this is with our friends at Apostrophe. So I know me personally, I have struggled with acne a good majority of my life. And it always seems to be really, really bad right when I have a big event coming around. Whether it's a job interview, a day, my skin just likes to play tricks on me. So um, that's why we're so excited to partner with Apostrophe, the sponsor of this episode. So Apostrophe is a prescription skincare company that offers science-backed oral and topical medications that are clinically proven to help clear acne. At Apostrophe, an expert dermatology team will create a personalized treatment plan that is perfectly tailored to your unique skin. Simply fill out Apostrophe's online quiz about your skin goals and medical history, then snap a few selfies and a board-certified dermatologist will create your initial customized treatment plan. And Apostrophe also treats all types of acne, from hormonal acne to facial acne, and even chest knee, back knee, and butt knee. They treat breakouts from head to toe. I personally have been using Apostrophe the entire process of setting in your photos and answering some certain questions about your medical history with different i've taken like i said every acne med- medication ever um took me less than five minutes was super easy so we actually have a special deal for our audience save 15 dollars off your first visit with an apostrophe provider at apostrophe.com slash two idiot girls when you use our code two idiot girls this code is only available to our listeners so to get started just go to apostrophe.com slash two idiot girls and click begin visit then use our code two idiot girls at sign up and you'll get your first visit for only five dollars that's a p o s t r o p h e dot com slash two idiot girls and use that code two idiot girls to get your first dermatologist crafted treatment plan for five dollars and we thank apostrophe for sponsoring the podcast now back to the episode all right this next one's from ella and she said we kind of talked about this one last time she said when a guy bends over and his butt crack shows 
I work at a restaurant and I had a work crush on a cute guy. And I don't know if he forgot about that day or what, but he bent over to get ice and I saw the top of his ass crack as she put the puke emoji. She's like, <laughs> I no longer have hard eyes for him. <laughs> Dude, you know how many work crushes I get? And then I'm like, God damn it. I can't like you anymore. You I'm did so that funny. weird thing around me. That is so unbelievably funny. I don't blame you, girl. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> it's true. It's just so embarrassing. Put your pants up. Like, it makes me think, like, are you not wearing underwear? And if I always think you can't feel it. That's what I'm saying. Uh, maybe, you know what I think? Maybe this is, like, <laughs> this is a much deeper, like, reason. But maybe w- women are just constantly made to feel so aware of themselves. Yeah, and their bodies. Yeah. yeah, their bodies, like, how it looks. I how think women and most not... In, yeah, uh, women and others. Yeah. No men. Men aren't forced to feel this way. <laughs> Only women and others are. Yeah. So we're constantly made to feel aware of how we're looking, how we're sitting, how our hair looks, how our face looks. Mm-hmm. Like, are we smiling? Are we not? So, like, I feel like men are so fucking ignorant to shit like that because they've never been told like you, you need to f- be this this and this in public yeah so maybe so maybe they really don't maybe they have no idea what that feels like 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 ass like wind on your ass crack yeah. i guess like maybe they just think it's their lower back like i don't fucking like know they're cold or something or maybe they're just disgusting I maybe i'm giving them i think it's that you're giving them too much credit well i'm no i'm not giving them credit i'm not saying like feel bad for them like fuck you like you should know if your ass is out in public because <laughs> y'all make sure that we know if ours are so like fuck you if you're about cracks out but like and you just don't care if other people see it <laughs> but i'm saying maybe that's why they don't care or know yeah that it's happening literally because They've never been told, like, you need to be aware of your body. Yeah, that makes sense. You know what I mean? It's not an excuse. I'm saying it's that's a reason probably (laughs) why they don't give a shit. They're like, I don't know. I literally can't relate. Like, if my toes look weird in public, I'm like, I'm I'm thinking about it all day. I'm thinking about it all fucking day. That's why I fell at VidCon. I wore my sandals and I was just hyper aware of my feet the whole time we were there. And I was like, put them away. I know. I told Billy, he's like, maybe I'll wear my slides and their socks and won't. And I was like, I don't know. People will be taking pictures while someone takes a picture of the dogs, you know? And like I said, I'm getting it. And I said it to be funny. And then he was, and then he never wore slides the entire time. <laughs> like, but I, I was more so talking about fans. Like, be, some of y'all are fucking weird. Like, sometimes you'd be taking pictures of shit. And I'm like, why'd you take a picture of that? Like, they do it to you? Some, like, wouldn't me when I'm walking around or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and I never look good, and you tag me in it, and I don't know why you do that. Like, you fucking know I don't look good in that picture. Like, don't tag me in the shit. Um, if you think I'm reposting it, I'm not. Like, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> like, like it's you know how like you you see pics and you, you take pics and you're like, damn, I look good in this picture, or you're like, oh, I like this picture, but I don't know, they might think they look weird in it. Yeah, like friend rules. Like, let's operate under the same. <laughs> like rule book guys like, well and if you're gonna post it don't tag her like if you think yeah, you look good it. don't tag her well yeah also like it's you're not even in the picture so you lose nothing when you don't tag me you know what i'm saying like you don't have to post it like okay this next one's from joe and she said when someone sips a drink and has to switch it around their mouth in order to taste the drink like just swallow it why are you swishing a sugary drink in your teeth in order to taste it are you not concerned about cavities? What are they drinking? Wine? <laughs> He's like, a real musky scent or whatever. That's candles. <laughs> He's that like, is gross. Taste sandalwood. <laughs> Girl, yeah, because that's a candle. I love them. Vanilla musk. <laughs> Dude, I think it's so. That's so specific in the sense that she's like. Do you imagine being on a date with someone and you're drinking like. We're really big on refreshers right now from Starbucks. Oh my God, so yeah. Starbucks, if you want my to hyper, this, My hyperfixation is right mango dragon fruit yeah. lemonade. Um, like if if I was on a date with someone. I can't. The thought of doing that uh, makes my like cheeks prickle. Yeah. I mean, imagine I, you're on a date with someone and they're like, oh, let me try it. You're like, okay. And you give them a sip. Who the fuck does that other than know. other than like little fucking kids? <laughs> like who does that? Like I've seen like Billy does this sometimes where like if he drinks something sugary, he'll have to like drink um water water and yeah, like swish it your to mouth. get yeah. the taste out but he's not doing it at the dinner table like he's not like this wine 
you no, know what I mean? Not, like, doing it to taste it better. He's doing it to like help. That's what I'm mouth. saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like like mouthwash, but like to get a good taste. Who the fuck does that? Uh, a, a man. That's disgusting. Yeah, once again, just real disgusting behavior. All right, friends, we're going to take a quick break for another ad moment. And this one's with our friends at Magic Spoon. So growing up, I don't know about you, but I loved eating cereal as a kid. But I recently haven't been eating it because a lot of them hurt my tummy because they have a lot of sugar. And my body's just different than when it was when we were little. So we're so excited to be working with Magic Spoon because they have a variety pack with four flavors that are cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. This pack has zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs. There's only 140 calories a serving. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. And what's really nice about these is that you can mix the flavors. So you can mix cocoa with peanut butter. It tastes just like a peanut butter cup. And it tastes exactly like regular cereal from your childhood. But it's really nutritious and gets all those things that your body needs. And it's delicious but super healthy cereal that really brings joy to your mornings or your afternoons or your dinners. Eat your cereal when you want to eat cereal. So go to magicspoon.com slash two idiot girls to grab a variety pack and try it today. And be sure to use our promo code two idiot girls at checkout to save $5 off your order. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product. It's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So remember to get your next delicious bowl of cereal at magicspoon.com slash two idiot girls and use the code two idiot girls to save $5 off. Thank you so much, Magic Spoon, for sponsoring this episode. Now back to the episode. So this one's from Michael. He said, hi, I'm gay, lol. (laughs) I once was cuddling and having fun times with a guy I was seeing and he had the longest toenails ever literally fucking talent i like once made a joke like oh my gosh you need to cut those and then he proceeded to scratch his harpy claws on my leg and foot underneath the covers and that was the beginning of the end beginning that should have been the end babe i feel like you know that michael not harpy claws (laughs) that makes me sick loki the fact that you got any further after just seeing them yeah i don't know man oh my god (laughs) once again like why are they so disgusting like i don't understand don't your shoes hurt when you put them on and your toenails are that long i think that too (laughs) or like yeah like what about your socks are you just fraying them when every time you put your the longest toenails you've ever seen oh my god i don't know man no, as soon as he took socks off, I'd be like, no. I'm like, I I'd immediately would be like, I feel a little sick. I should probably go home. I have to get up so early tomorrow. Yeah, and I would it. leave and I would immediately call somebody to tell them how fucking disgusted I was <laughs> and how you'll literally never see me again. I feel like if you have long toenails, they usually have long fingernails. Like, they don't even have to bring the dogs out for me to know what their fingernails look like or toenails look like. Yeah, sometimes, but sometimes not because... <laughs> You can't see the dogs nearly as often as you can see. No, but like, no, I'm saying, no, I'm saying, I'm saying like they don't groom their feet at all because they, your hands, you can see. So sometimes they'll groom their hands, but not their feet. You know what I'm saying? I was just thinking that if someone doesn't groom their feet, they don't do their hands either. No, I know that, but Mm -hmm. I'm saying sometimes though, they do groom their hands because you can see them all the time and you can wear tennis shoes to hide your feet. I feel like you didn't understand what I was saying. I don't know what we're talking about. Anyways, it's disgusting. You don't get what I was saying? No, I do. Okay. I think we're both saying different things, but I understand. No, that. we are. I don't agree with what you're saying. Maybe that's where I'm confused. Why? Because sa- of what I just said. No, I know. I'm telling you, not every person mm-hmm. that doesn't groom their feet mm-hmm. always doesn't groom their hands. I'm saying sometimes they probably cut them a little shorter but they don't grow yeah, out. Like I their don't. Feet. Ag- I disagree. Is what I'm saying. That's just because you hate feet and you think that's disgusting all around. So yeah. you can't. You can't reason with the fact that maybe sometimes people are half and half. One or the other. That's not true. Because like someone like our cut this part out, but someone like our cut back in. We had a very personal conversation <laughs> with someone we know who does do what Drew says. So she's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll admit defeat when I'm wrong. But you're you're also right. I'm just yeah. saying I think it's possible sometimes yeah. for people to be like I'm just gonna kind of do my nails because people can see them and then it's just like no <laughs> no <laughs> rules on the, on the feet oh, like, yeah. yeah they're just like that's so fucking gross 
Michael, I'm glad that you knew that that was not a good, <laughs> a good thing to hang around with. Also, if he scratched me playfully, <laughs> I might have to kill you, dude. <laughs> That's so disgusting. I know. Okay, this next one's from someone named Allie, and she said, freestyling, I literally want to fold into myself and disappear. <laughs> I can't. Freestyling and beatboxing. This sounds so mean. But <laughs> I think it's so embarrassing. Freestyling is different. If you're, like, f- like, fucking around with your friends, like, I don't care. Yeah, if it's playful or if you're, like, performing. Yeah. Obviously, it's different. But, like, if you're, like, wait, let me let me get on this. I think you're just talking about form, men who are bad at it. No, in is, any form of beatboxing, I think, is embarrassing. It's They're just ta- spitting. I mean, it's a talent. Okay. If you're a professional beatboxer, are you saying, like, if they're just doing it to be cool? I don't know. I'm going to bleep this out. <laughs> so, yeah. Dyson has a personal vendetta against that, so. And same with freestyling. I, I think, I mean, it feels like I sent this one in, Allie. I don't know. Yeah, you, you know what yeah, because, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm with you, brother. <laughs> Should we move on? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say that literally men with like musical talent who feel the need to show you their musical talent all the time like charlie one one charlie puth i mean that guy's actually talented to some I watched extent a clip. i couldn't even watch the whole thing because he's so fucking cringy yeah he's a big cornball but i watched a clip of him he was like in an old school car with someone i can't remember who it was it was like a singer oh i think it was one of the bts members because oh. he has a song that came out with i think jungkook i'm sorry i don't know all their names but one of them and he was doing like the zzz, 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 like the window, and then he started beatboxing on top of it. And then I was like, and I'm clicking out for the, the internet night. universally dislikes him. Um, so like, yeah, that checks out. Like I used to think Charlie Puth was was cool to an extent. Lucky like, sexy. No, never that. <laughs> just never that. I call them talent crushes. Like where I'm yeah. just like fascinated by them. Not so. me. Mine's a crush. <laughs> No, hers is 100% sexual. Mine's, <laughs> mine's like an adoration almost. Like, I'm just like, that's really fucking cool. Like, they're yeah. really talented. Um, and he used to be one of them before he became the f- world's creepiest TikTok person. I like, don't know what happened to him. The pandemic did even, him dirty or something. He just, like, went off the rails. What if this was a beat to song? <laughs> well, and then, like, he's just eternally horny, too, which is just weird. And, like, I don't know. But this kind of reminds me about when i saw mgk at billboard and like the mgk slander i commit all the time is is pretty funny um but he's the worst so like it it checks out but him performing a song he was like (laughs) so everyone's familiar to some extent with mgk and like what he sounds like now not what he used to be when he was trying to be eminem yes but yes. like um he like started his song in love with an emo girl. exactly now he's like trying to be like a punk star Good charlotte yeah <laughs> <laughs> um you but, could never <laughs> but he did a song where he was like in the beginning he goes this is for my wife <laughs> right and obviously he's talking about megan fox and he goes like and I wrote this for her and some shit like that. And then he is like, I, right. And he starts singing like that. No, a girl like that. And I'm like, if I swear to God, if I was sitting in a room and someone was like, I wrote a song for you and that's how we kicked it off. I would have to jump out the nearest window, bro. Like I couldn't sit there and listen to it. Like it's just the fucking cringe factor, dog. <laughs> My fucking butthole just folding Wait, a million about the times. What the chain clip that makes us laugh? Oh my god! Everyone okay. has to Google this immediately. Oh my god! One of my best friends from college will she knows this better than anyone because her and I watched it together and I laughed so hard I almost shit myself. <laughs> but it's literally when closer. Remember when closer <laughs> was like had a grip on the world? It was yeah. like 2017. Mm-hmm and uh, 2016 2017 i think it was yeah i was still in college when that song came yeah out. i was <laughs> i was no because i was living in my house so i was my senior year so you were done oh okay. yeah so i was and i remember i was living in my house because i was carrying my laptop to the living room to go show corny mm. but we watched i don't know why the fuck we watched oh, i think it's because we watched it on the tv the vmas the vmas yeah and um we watched him uh the him the chain smokers performed with halsey mm-hmm. and they did closer right mm. And one of the chain smokers 
I don't know which one. I think that one's named Drew. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was just about to say. Yeah. Um, the one who sings the most, right? The other one's just like this. Yeah. The other one's just in the background. He's a hype, hype dude, but he comes out like, please look it up closer at the VMAs. VMAs. I think it's like with Halsey. Just look it up. I don't remember the year, but it's like 2016, 2017. Yeah. So he literally comes out. You know how like the song starts? It's like the beat. It's like dun, 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 I'm gonna dun, play dun, it dun, after you're done. So yeah, but he dead ass goes like in the minute he says "Hey," that's like the <laughs> intro line. Please look up how the fuck he says it because me and Brittany, <laughs> me and Brittany, Brittany, no, me and my friend, we literally were <laughs> fucking crying laughing the way he does it because the way he does it it's like the beats like building up you know and they come out on separate entrances yeah. or whatever and then he goes hey the way he says it because he fucking auto-tunes his That's voice when man when men say hey <laughs> the way that he because he auto-tunes the fuck out of his voice so like him doing it live dude <laughs> Oh my god! I literally it's two, 2016. I'm gonna play the clip right now. Just there you go. I it. literally Facetime Dayson the minute I saw it, and I was like, "Dude, look this shit up immediately." <laughs> it's so fucking cringe, and that's what makes me think of when you're talking about freestyling. <laughs> Hold on, let me hear. <laughs> oh my god! This is the performance. You have to look this one up. It's this specific one. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, dude, it sounds like a yuck, <laughs> like goofy. <laughs> dude, the build up. <laughs> you hear how fucking terrible he sounds? That's literally, I was doing just fine before I met you. It's like, no no singing lessons, no warm-up, no nothing. Like, fuck it. Just go out there and start singing, bro. That, could, oh. for all I know, could have been fucking um, a karaoke bar. Dude, I have a headache. That was so funny. Hey. hey. I told you. Hey. Dog, no. Immediately, no. Anytime I think about, let's say, like, when I saw MGK at the Billboard Music Awards, that's what I was thinking of. I was literally thinking of him being like, I know a girl like singing like that to you. It's supposed to be a love song. And you're like <laughs> having to sit there and listen to it. <laughs> oh Dude, I feel you, girl. That was my head hurts. That was so funny. Whoever wrote that. I'm with you on that. The, the egg is just too. We it's saw too the chain smokers this weekend. They performed at a party we were at. Yeah. It's just sounds guys. It's just not my vibes. I was just telling Billy, I was like, they use so many songs that aren't theirs. <laughs> yeah. Like, and they have well, their own music. And I, I genuinely do. You remember when they did like a Rolling Stone interview or something? Um, it was around the same time as Close. They, I know they're problematic. That's why I don't really give a. F- I don't give a fuck about the Chainsmokers. Yeah. But- well, no, it was like just the most off-putting interview ever. Like, yeah. That one Drew guy was like talking about his dick size a bunch and like. Mm. Yeah, he was saying all kinds of shit, and he was saying, like, women always want me, and blah, 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 and I'm like, I knew you were the fucking worst, yeah. dude. I could just smell it on you, bro. Yeah. So, anywho, I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you, girl. I genuinely believe that men should never, unless they can sing, sing, don't. <laughs> or they're, like, a professional rapper or something, don't. Like, there's this part at the party where the drew guy was like standing on like like they had a stage and then like the tallest like dj stand i've ever seen yeah so he kept standing on the dj stand yeah and then one time he jumped down and like i was telling billy like you know when you're when you're little and you jump off something really high and you like fuck your feet up <laughs> <laughs> like, like they sting like, yeah he's like holy shit sorry guys. that was a lot higher than <laughs> i thought it was give me a second mean. give me a second give me a second oh, he didn't say that, but <laughs> no. I said, "Wouldn't that be funny?" If that yeah, happened? I. Th- well, when he was walking in the beginning, Billy was like, "What if he just fell off <laughs> <laughs> the thing?" <laughs> that would be so embarrassing. Just like that clip you sent me of Jesse McCartney hitting himself in the head <laughs> with his own microphone. <laughs> Fully turning around. And- he did fall. The one the, that was the first TikTok I've ever laughed at about Jesse McCartney. He was like, "See you guys later." And he oh, that one! Like, I, I was talking about a different one. Yeah, the microphone went too. Yeah, I saw the top comment on that TikTok. He's like, "This man's always getting injured every time he, he performs." Catch a break. 
Okay, friends, we're going to take another quick break, and this is for an ad with our really great friends at Ivory Ella. So Ivory Ella is a lifestyle apparel brand that donates 10% of profits to Saving the Elephants and other charitable causes. It was launched by college students. Ivory Ella grew organically into one of the largest and most passionate communities of supporters wanting to make a difference in the world. Donating over $2 million to date, Ivory Ella continues to deliver good clothes for a good cause. So um, I actually got was really lucky. They sent me one of the shirts for their pride themed one. And they worked with the Happy Hippie organization that's um, started by the amazing Miley Cyrus. And that was super exciting to be able to be part of that. Right. Um, they have over two million total that they've donated to different charitable causes. A minimum of 10 percent on all products. Every time you buy from Ivory Ella, you're making a donation to a cause that is important to you. Some of the charities that they've worked with are Save the Elephants, Autistic Self Advocacy Network, Cyber Smile Foundation, Refestoration Foundation, American Heart Association, Hearts and Bones, and so much more. Everything you buy, you're helping save the world little by little, and everything is super cute, comfortable, and trendy. So you can be part of the herd. Go get yours with 15% off using code 2 girls at ivoryella.com slash collections slash new dash arrivals. Now back to the episode. All right, this will be the last one. So this is from Cassie. And she said, I once went on a date where the guy ate his ice cream way too intensely. Like imagine the scene from SpongeBob where Plankton <laughs> is showing him how to be assertive. I couldn't focus on a word he said and was just waiting for the date to be over. <laughs> And he goes like, <laughs> with his eyelashes to yeah. clean his hand. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> like, uh, like when SpongeBob's eating the chocolate bar to like, uh, to like taunt Patrick. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, with his tongue, like all the, probably eating it like it's going to run away type shit. <laughs> like it's evaporating before his very eyes. <laughs> That's a good test, guys. If you go on the first date, watch them eat ice cream. <laughs> and then you're all, and then go in and show me the dogs. And then I'll know yeah. all I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> and who did you vote for in 2016? It's like, uh, that reminds me of, you know, the movie P.S. I Love You? Yes. Um, You know how, like, Lisa Kudrow's in there? I haven't seen it in so long, but okay. Yeah, she's, like, one of her best friends. Mm -hmm. One of two of them. And um, she's the only single one, because the other one's married. And obviously, like, Holly, the main girl's married and um, or widowed. And then she's the only single one left. And they're, like, in their late 30s. Mm-hmm. And so, like, throughout the movie, when she, like, she'll go walk up to men and she'll be like, hi. And they're like, hi. And she'll be like, what's your name? And they'll tell her. And then she goes, are you single? And they're like, yeah. She goes, are you working? And they're like, yeah. She's like, are you gay? And they're like, yeah. Or no. And they like, like, she'll literally. And so, like, the first couple times she does it, she's like, are you single? And he's like, yes. And then she's like, are you working? And he's like, no. And then he, she, like, immediately turns and leaves. <laughs> and then he turns back and he's like, <laughs> So it's like her like running list. Yeah. She gets it out of the way before she you even have a bothers. Car. <laughs> yeah, and like one of them she gets through all of them and then she just kisses him and then and she's all eh. and then she just leaves. <laughs> so like I'm saying that's literally what you have to do now. Yeah. Show me your toes. Okay. Show me your and let me see you eat this popsicle. <laughs> I wanna see how you eat it. A popsicle is different from ice cream. I mean, you know what you well, eat. that's what I'm saying. Ice cream like on a cone. Yeah. Or ice cream with a spoon. Cone. Does it say that? No, but I'm telling you that I think the cone is the real test. Oh, I know. I'm like just curious. Like if they're messy and it's all over their hand. Along. I would assume, huh? Like, <laughs> that reminds me of a TikTok I saw once where it made me laugh so hard I started crying. But it was literally like the one where they go in the Dairy Queen mm -hmm. and like Texas or something. It's mm -hmm. like these two white kids. Yeah. And they walk in and he goes, DQ, that's what I love about Texas. Right? Like, he just walks in and starts singing. <laughs> and there's people in there <laughs> waiting in line. And everyone's just looking at him. Like, they're so confused. And then the worker, it's like an older woman. And she's like, wow, <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's a video. No, and then it cuts abruptly. <laughs> and they're in their car. <laughs> and they're recording <laughs> dude. <laughs> In his car across from them. Oh, eating a cone way too intensely. And the top comment said, <laughs> Top comment said, Why'd you record him slobbing on that cone? <laughs> <laughs> and the first time I saw it, it made me laugh so <laughs> I started 
started crying. Man. <laughs> it just like abruptly cuts to that guy going, like eating it so aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god jesus christ dude, dude i was inconsolable when i watched it. i watched it like 50 uh, fucking times hold on i'm gonna see if i can find it because i can sort by like the video um <laughs> it's like dude just i was just in disbelief at, like, oh i fucking found it here it is like like, <laughs> like you see what's saying right <laughs> like <laughs> dude send that to me i'm gonna insert it so you guys can see it. and that's literally it that's like that's the whole video Holy <laughs> and you like how i remembered what he what how he sang it because that's how many times i watched dude look at this other video i have hold on of, of this guy watching Meg the Stallion. <laughs> <laughs> He's a holy shit. <laughs> I have a video of this fucking dad. Yeah, I'll insert it. Send it to me. <laughs> God damn. He's like recording her so intensely. Like, <laughs> Is that a gunfall? Yeah. Oh, oh my god, dog. That's so funny, dude. I'm tired. And the top comments of why should you record him slobbing on that cone like that? <laughs> Was that your fucking date? Was that the Pro- honestly probably. I'm gonna put it here. <laughs> Confirm his identity, please. Thank you. Um, that reminds me when I was in college, I went on a date with someone <laughs> who took me to seven eleven to get ice cream. Mm-hmm. Um, which was cute at the time because like you're obviously broke, like yeah. we're broke and um it was like uh it was it was cute it was like a cute date right hurry up <laughs> what <laughs> get to the story well we went to the Seven Eleven, and he asked me to pick anything i wanted because it was on him so i like got like i f- i don't even remember what i got but i got like an ice cream and i he got two right <laughs> And I was like, that's cool. I fuck with a dude who wants both, but he like got a chocolate one and a, like some kind of bomb pop type situation. Yeah. I know, which is a weird mix, but I was like, no judgments. It seems like an omen. Yeah. And then we were walking and he was, um, we were talking obviously and he was chewing it like fucking carrot sticks. Like he was literally like <laughs> eating the chewing popsicles, what? The, the ice cream. So he was eating it like, <laughs> like going down to like a carrot stick. You know what I'm saying? Like Bugs Bunny when he's like, like that. But he was chewing it. I was like, how the fuck? And I, I don't remember what we were talking about. I just remember thinking, why are you eating ice cream like that? Like in my head. And I've already, I think we've talked about this already, but like I have to eat on the side of my mouth if it's cold because I really don't, I hate how it feels when like cold shit touches my front teeth. I also saw that's a sign of anxiety. <laughs> so... There you go. Checks out. But, um, I like, I, you know, I've seen people eat with their front teeth and it doesn't bother me, but it was the way he was making it sound like he was eating a celery stick. I was like in disbelief and he ate both of them in like six bites. I didn't even finish my ice cream. Cause I like, we were talking and I, you know, don't talk with my mouth full. Do you like you on know, cartoons when they have steaks and they just, <laughs> like, yeah. The like I wish he ate it like that. No, he, <laughs> he made, he, made the process pretty long considering i remember the process but that wasn't like that part was already bad Mm -hmm. which is what made well did i submit that thing (laughs) (laughs) because that was like i was so like weirded out by it yeah but like we were walking um because we walked from my school to the center or whatever we were walking back he was eating them and i remember he finished and he he balled up his his trash and he turned around and just threw it over a fence (laughs) <laughs> when he litters under under a freeway overpass like he's like mid-sentence and then he's going yeah and i just <laughs> <laughs> bro what? and i remember thinking what the fuck? when he litters and i was still holding my ice cream like even when it's melting and i was still holding because i didn't want to put it on the fucking ground like 
the way he just turned around and threw it so hard what over if a he fence. yelled when he threw it <laughs> ah like that <laughs> like a tennis grunt <laughs> he like does like a little like like skip forward <laughs> to like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> He goes ah. like he goes like this, like a major <laughs> league baseball player. Like Alice from Twilight. Yeah. <laughs> he points his toe <laughs> in every <laughs> Dude, I just remember thinking I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Like mid sentence he just like, <laughs> like and there was literally a trash like if he waited five more minutes. <gasps> And he knew that camp is better than me because he was older than me. And I was like, there's no way you didn't know that there would was. You, t- <laughs> would like, you count that? That's like your first date ever. Would you count that as your first date? No, I wouldn't. You count the, the Knott's Berry Farm? Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Mm, okay. That was like my first like date with someone I liked. <laughs> <laughs> like I liked him at the time. Yeah. So, like. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. I thought you still liked him. Is that what you were <laughs> No, my first date, we could count the prom thing. Yeah. But I think was this kid, he lived in my hall, and he would always weirdly flirt with me, and it was so weird. And one time I came home from a yeah. rugby tournament. Yeah. And he was, like, he was, like, that kid, if you guys lived in dorms, who would, like, or residence halls, who would wait in the common room for people to come walk by and be like, oh, there you are. <laughs> and so, anyways, he asked me, do you want to get a smoothie? And I was like, sure. I told him, I'm really tired. And he goes, that's fine. Let's go. And I was like, Okay. Jason just constantly getting bullied. Because I'm not assertive. Or if I'm not there. Yeah. Wait, on. So he takes me downstairs. He drinks a smoothie. And well, oh, you're going to drink it here. Okay. <laughs> like, I have shit to do. I'm tired. I just thought of something else, too. Go ahead. And then, so he walks back with me. And he goes, oh, do you want to watch a movie? And I'm like, uh, I'm kind of tired. He's like, come on, let's watch a movie. And I was like, oh, okay. And then we go to rent a movie in one of the residence hall things. And guess what movie he picked? You know, it was a western. The good, the bad, and the ugly on a first date, bro. That I didn't even, I didn't even agree to be on. <laughs> so he picks that. We go in my room and we're watching it. First thing he tries to do is close my door, and I was like, "Don't close my fucking door." Yeah, and so I left weirdo. it open. Then he sat on my bed. Uh, and Jason hates. I okay. fucking Jason hate. hates. Hates when people sit on her bed because she doesn't like when other smells are. On I hate. I hate when people sit on my bed, especially her pillow. And he was touching my pillow. <laughs> He was on my bed in his outside clothes, touching my pillow. And I'm like, why don't you just choke me to the ground right now, dude? <laughs> and then while we're watching the movie on my it laptop. It wasn't him bullying her into watching a Western. No, it was him touching her, that's her linens. Was like, <laughs> You've crossed the line and I don't like and this. And you're going to jail. And you're canceled. You know what? I can put up with a lot, but this I won't stand Literally. for. So then we watch the movie. I'm all, no, you could sit in my roommate's chair. Like we had like desk chairs. So I turned it on my big fucking HP. It was supposed to be a desktop, but my parents bought it for me as a laptop. So we're watching on there. So I kept leaving the room to do laundry. And when I came back, I was gonna fold my laundry, so I turned my back to him to put like my bras and my chonies away. So my this guy goes, Oh, don't I won't look, you're holding your unmentionables. Did you know it was, it was too much? And then I never talked to him ever again after that, so I was so fucking. I was like, Well, I'm tired, can we like not watch the movie anymore? And I like opened the CD thing, <laughs> and shoved him out of his chair. Go and take that back to Redbox, will you? <laughs> and don't ever fucking talk to me again. Uh. I close the door on your way out. I and went then to- in that moment, I knew I was a little. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wait, yeah, what were you going to say? One time I went on a double date um, and against, <laughs> against my fucking will. Against my fucking will. Because I my, went on one of those two. It was with you. <laughs> you and me both were on that. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's different, different story. This, the two of us went against Wait, our will. Wait, is this the one here? Yeah. Okay. So I went on a double date. <laughs> here against my will because one of my friends was in town and like one of my best friends from college and someone else thought she was cute and wanted to hang out with her and this then, is like a friend from high school thought her yeah college and i was hot, like yeah. they were like oh like i'd like to hang out and i'm like it's fucking 9 p.m it's past my bedtime no don't talk to me and then my don't my best friend me. what don't call me <laughs> one of my best friends from college was like come on like let's go blah blah because this is like when i'm turning a corner of like not wanting to go out this anymore. is like one of my favorite friends drew has that oh yeah fucking love so her. funny i'll say it, natasha yeah it's my bestie natasha she i fucking love that bitch but anyways so we go <laughs> <laughs> and i didn't know at the time that he was gonna bring another person i thought it was like we were gonna try to like hang out in like a little group yeah i was like i'll third wheel i don't give a fuck like, yeah but he brought another person and I was like, what the fuck is this? Damn. And like, 
I barely knew this person. I like knew him loosely. And so like on some middle school shit, mind you, we're in our twenties. Yes. On some middle school shit, we're like walking around an outdoor mall, but we're like separated. Ew. Like, like they're way ahead of us. I hate that. You know what I mean? Like, Oh my God. But like before (laughs) that we went to this, um, fuck, what's the name of it? The loop. No, it wasn't the loop. It wasn't a churro. It was the one with the donut. Okay. Well, if you're from, if you're from SoCal, what's, what's the, the name, name of it though? It's important. You want me to go? It's it? a, yeah, donut ice cream shop. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, it's the donut ice cream. I keep saying creamistry, but it's not that. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I don't think it exists. Anymore. It's like a donut. It afters. Afters. Okay. okay afters for those california for my ie girlies <laughs> right um there's this fucking ice cream shop and it's literal regular ice cream right they have some weird flavors but it's regular fucking ice cream and it's like their draws that they put donuts or sandwich it between donuts or something like yes that. i also had a coworker who we were delivering flyers and it was like it was like 11 a.m. and that thing opened and he went and ate one. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dog, it's too early for that. And no. he said, I need a sugar boost. <laughs> it's literally like, yeah, it's just so gross. Like, I, yeah. I can't. It's too much for me. But anyways, so I, I've, I, as I've reiterated before, I'm a plain kind of girly. Like, I'm someone who likes shit pretty plain. Tell like, them your bagel order. It's so embarrassing. It's plain bagel with butter. That's it. And, and if there's no what? butter... She'll eat the bagel plain. Like <laughs> Nothing on it. Well, you know what? At least I'm. At least I know what I'm about. <laughs> unlike these other bitches. <laughs> so, anyways, I it hits every time. It's it's a it's a win every time. So we go, and I'm just like trying to get some small. Mind you, I'm broke too. Mm. So I'm like, I'll just get like one scoop of like fucking chocolate ice cream or cookies and cream, something mm-hmm. basic. Yeah. Right? Rocky Road. Yeah, literally, I love Rocky Road ice cream. There's the dude that's with me, right? Because mm-hmm. we're separated. Your, he goes, da- your date. Yeah, my date. He goes, what? That's all you're getting? And I'm like, yeah. Like, I'm like, yeah, dude, I gotta want the donut. <laughs> like, it's like it's too much sugar for me. It, it'll make my stomach hurt. He's like, no, come on. You've never been to afters. You have to. He's like spinning me a yarn about how important it is that I get the full experience <laughs> at afters. And then after like, like two minutes of cajoling, I go, all right, like, fucking fine. Like, I'm like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, skips. you can yeah, you can sandwich it between the donut or the cookies or whatever. I think it's cookies. I keep saying donuts. But no, I think they it's- are donuts. Oh, okay. You're right, you're right. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, that's, yeah, sandwich it. Why not? Like, <laughs> and he goes, all right. Mind you, it went from $3 to $15, right? Like, it, some shit like that. It was some nuts like that. Yeah. And I go, that's fine. He goes, all right, cool. And then he goes, all right, you guys on the same bill? He goes, no. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, like, he immediately goes, separate checks. Like, me, I'm all, Damn. you convinced me to get this boof ass fucking ice cream. <laughs> and then now you're not even going to fucking pay for it or offer to pay for it. At least offer. He's like, this wasn't a date. And I did. <laughs> the fact, it's funny because you were talking to me like it was a fucking date. And I know men are going to be like, shit, women always expect to be paid. It was just the fact that I didn't want it. Oh, and he like, he like bullied me into getting he's it. He's like campaigning. For you yeah, to get yeah, it. Yeah, like you would think he was the donuts attorney. <laughs> like, he was like, he's no. He's like, no, you don't understand for every sale. I get $10. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you making commission off this? every donut. And just the immediacy with which he was like. No no that's two separate orders like and then he got like just two scoops of ice cream i said fuck this dude bro you didn't even get a donut no and i was like why did you (laughs) convince me to get this shit (laughs) what if you asked me you went i don't know it's kind of fun and i was so i will never forget that as long as i live because i was so fucking annoyed (laughs) and i remember looking i remember looking at my other friend who i like brought to meet up with my girlfriend yeah and he was like and then when we left, he was like, sorry about that, dude. And I was like, are you? <laughs> well, you should have paid for it, you bitch. Well, and he paid for he paid for my friend. Yeah. Well, they were on a date. They went first. <laughs> yeah, they were on a date. And he watched her do that and he goes, yeah, that's two separate orders. And then he got what I wanted initially. <laughs> I'm going to fuck this guy, dude. I wish he asked you after, can I have a bite of the donut? I didn't even want that shit. That's funny. If he had said that, I would still be annoying. But no, yeah, fuck that shit. I would have been like, no way, you should have bought your own donut. I would have said that too. I dead ass would have said that shit too. 
And I remember no too. No way. Yeah. No. Yeah, I was like, what? No. <laughs> you should have got your own. <laughs> and then I don't even eat mine. I just throw it away. Which I ended up doing almost out of anger and spite. <laughs> Did you throw it over the fence? <laughs> Under the freeway overpass. <laughs> he's like yeah i'm one of six siblings ah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm like what the fuck dude sometimes i feel like i can't connect with my dad <laughs> <laughs> what about you sometimes i feel like no matter what i do it's just never good enough ah! <laughs> <laughs> i just always felt like i lived to my brother's shadow my whole life you know <laughs> Top of littering, like <laughs> it's just oh always been my dream. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I told him, no, Dad, it's your dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad used to hit me a lot when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> just change the shirt after we have a relationship. <laughs> When I was a kid, I haven't really learned how to love since. Oh <laughs> 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 Holy shit. That's so I funny. lost her to cancer, you know? <laughs> Dude. Oh my fucking god, bro. That's why I was. <laughs> Truly like a scene out of like fucking arrested <laughs> development, dude. Just the way he the fervor with which he threw that shit. <sighs> I haven't laughed that hard in I don't know how long. That was so fun. I'm like sweating. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> but I wish like he did that like like he jumped in That's why I said he like thinks like a running start. And, like like a little like one two. What if he did that but then it hit the fence and fell down? <laughs> <laughs> they keep picking it up and it, doing it no, again. No, like it was just like a piece of paper, so it didn't go far. It's you know when you, you know when you throw paper just floating. Yeah, you, you know you throw paper really hard and it just goes like straight down. <laughs> it's like, oh, hold on. <laughs> uh, or like while you're telling him something really intense about your life, that's what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was talking to me. He was telling me about his life, yeah. and he did that shit. Yeah. <laughs> When he said, yeah, I'm one of six kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's like first date shit. Like when oh you're like getting God, to know each other. Dude. So he's like, no, yeah, born and raised here. Ah! Like, <laughs> look at the I'll never leave here, you know? <laughs> Sometimes I just feel like life has no real meaning behind it. Ah! Sometimes I feel like you just wake up and go through the motions every day. <laughs> dude oh unbelievable gosh, i'm so out of breath that's it's so funny because that's exactly how it was <laughs> that's why i was like i dead ass was like <laughs> and i even i remember saying because he had no. he literally was holding a 7-eleven bag with like his other thing that he got he got like a candy too <laughs> and i was like this guy's a sugar <laughs> freak <laughs> Dude, that's such a funny thing to call someone that likes a candy. Free? A sugar free. <laughs> what are you all sugar free? For a freakazoid. You a freakazoid for real. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember he had like. You call him that? What are you, a sugar freak? And he goes, Summer Jacks. <laughs> Dude, you know, this guy was a sugar freak. <laughs> No, he literally had another like candy or some shit. Stop. Okay. And I remember him holding the bag. And I remember going, Why didn't you just put the trash in the bag? Like I mentioned that. Yeah. And he goes, Oh, I don't know. And I was like, the f- do you just do that so often that you don't realize that you do that? You don't do what? 
And the fact that he was born and raised in Hawaii and like littering's a big no no over there. You shouldn't litter at all, but like they literally have commercials dedicated to like Malama the Aina, which yeah. is like to love the land and take care of it and mm-hmm. not fucking litter. The fact that like he just doesn't give a fuck. Like, okay. And he was born and raised there. Like, bro, what the fuck, dude? He's like, it's not the ocean. Who cares? Yeah, he's like, what are you, the fucking police? What are we gonna say? He's like, what are you gonna call the cops on me? And here we go. What if he was like, go ahead, see what happens. I've won that court case before. <laughs> he's like, they're not gonna take me down. They can't I know my rights. <laughs> you're all... he's all... Anyways, it just keeps <laughs> going. <laughs> Sorry, but I lost it for a second. It's kind of weird back there. Anyways, um, back to my mom. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I've never been able to really get it. <laughs> Fucking stupid, dude. <laughs> no, Dad, this is your dream, not mine. It's just like oh, I have like, a headache now. These lights are hurting my eyes. We do. So let's end it. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, friends, that's going to do it for this week's episode of Two Idiot Girls. Thank you so much for sending in your ics. We have loved as somewhat reading all of them. Um, please tune into our Instagram page to see what the next episode's topic will be on so you can send in whatever answers. Do you have any thoughts right now? No, I can't even think about anything. Brain is not working right now, mm-hmm. so I'll post it on there. But anyways, you can listen to this um podcast everywhere you listen to podcasts and you can watch the video version on our youtube channel but other than that we hope you have a great week and we'll see you next time bye bye